we moved from a puppy that basically could not focus at all Alrighty, everybody, we are here for session number three. If you haven't seen the previous sessions, you need to go back and watch them. We started this to begin with. It was, let's take our obedience outside where there's distractions. It's a huge change from inside. Trip demonstrated that very well in the first session. He did, I don't wanna say horrible, but he didn't do well. He got distracted, he lost focus, he wasn't interested in continuing to work, and that was a sign we need to do another session, but we needed to change a few things. Um, I started a little bit earlier in the day in session number two, watch that video as well. And now we're going to session number three. We're gonna start this out easy and see how much that we can progress with him in this. What we're working on is place training and moving to multiple places in a high distraction environment. There's leaves, there's grass, there's things out here to check and smell. And he is a distractible little puppy, 100% normal. What we want you to be able to see through our videos is real training sessions that you can actually apply. This is what my dog is doing and this is how I can work through it. Now, we're following along with the Retriever Flusher online training course that we have available at standingstonesupply.com. He will be the star of the Cocker Flushing program in that. Right now, there's a couple really nice labs that show our process from eight weeks to 12 months. Let's go ahead and get started with him and show you how we progress through this training session. Good, ready? Okay. We will start with a warm up. Good. He knows and he is focused. Right now I'm working with one kibble at a time and this is his morning meal. Hey. Okay. Good. Trip kennel. Ooh, a little bit slick. An exuberant little puppy. Good. Kennel. Hey, hey. This is, let's go ahead and do this. This is making adjustments as you go. This has got a little bit of dew on it or something and it's slick. Give me a second, I'm gonna grab a towel and dry this off. Got this dried off, make adjustments in your training sessions where you see it will benefit you and the dog. Kennel, right here. We'll pull focus again, good. Sessions are about building momentum. Good, kennel. So you can see by session three outside, we've already drawn drastically more um, focus. Kennel. Good boy. And we're gonna add in our second board. These Kato boards are pretty cool. They stack really nice. They give you a lot of flexibility in, in your training sessions. You can find them, standingstonesupply.com. Hey, kennel. Giving a little bit of direction, hand movement, body language. Kennel. Good. Trip. Kennel. Good. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of distance here. Okay. We go here. Now we might have to help him a little bit. You see this here? We good? All right. Good. Trip, 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 trip. Hey, 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 hey. Kennel. All the way on. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Trip. Kennel. Ah. Good. Bad click timing on my part. I'm trying to get him hit the platform, not blow past it. Hey, hey, hey. Kennel. It's good. Distractions are normal. We're working through them. Trip. Kennel. Good boy. Good boy. Trip. Kennel. Nice. All right, let's see if we can ramp this up even more. Here, sit. Good, kennel. Nice job, nice job. 
Let's bring him back to center here. Just, just eat the crunchies, kid. All right, here's another one that's gonna distract you in a minute. Right here. Work that little nose, good. Sit, kennel, good. He's building confidence. He's moving off of my movement, paying attention as much as should be expected here. Come on, right here. Good, sit, kennel. Nice job, nice job. Back to center. Sit. Kennel. Good boy, good boy. So again, you need to watch videos one, two, and now this one as video three. If you're finding this one first, definitely go back and look. Kennel. We moved from a puppy that basically could not focus at all to a dog that is now taking some direction. Sit. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Sit, sit, kennel, kennel, good. Sit, kennel, good boy, there you go, good boy, sit, kennel, good boy, good boy, all right, we're going to take this inside, we'll finish his meal with the, uh, the rest of a jackpot, basically for being crated, we feed our dogs a lot in their crates. It gives them a, a good reason to be in there, a kind of a safe, special place for them to be. And moving forward from here, we've got a lot of different things that we're gonna be doing. We'll move into working on flushing, using his nose. We'll also be applying other obedience behaviors into this outside world. But this is just a prime example of showing how progressions can be made from one session to the next. Um, not all sessions look perfect, but it's always something that we can build on and see what we need to do to make adjustments to help our dogs grow. If you need help or your dog is not following exactly along with our plan, please reach out to us at patreon.com slash standing stone kennels. It's where we're set up to do custom training plans or just answer simple questions like what kind of dog, should, dog food should I feed my dog or do you utilize any supplements or where is a good place to take my dog hunting? All of these are normal questions that I answer on the daily. This is Trip. I'm the guy with the pink gun. Continue to follow along with his series and let us know if you have questions. We'll see you in the next one.